featherweight division fight. You ready? You ready? Let's go, All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Come on, give me the straight ones now. Good punch. Just missing on the uppercut there. Jung gets hit by that leg kick. Nice counter right hook there. Circling to his right. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Jung's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh. Nice leg kick land. Single collar tie here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Josh Allen. And now trying to take the back. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. The Korean zombie gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Final minute. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, still plenty of time. To... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice.
and he's out. Chum gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Whoa! Wow. He's done, he's done! Woo! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Josh Edmund. All right, so there he is, the man.